one of the most valuable exercises I could give you is rolling beads and coves with a spindle gouge. As you see how I do it, I'm using skew with a long point down. I'm going to take a spindle gouge and, and begin the cut with a flute open or parallel with the floor and then just gently rolling it over maintaining contact with the bevel first to the right and then to the left. I laid out several beads here and I'll just go down and repeat it again and again and again and get practice. It is useful if you mark the very center of the bead. gives you a consistent starting point. You don't always have to divine the shoulder first. You see that I just went from the top and made the entire cut with the gouge. Next we're going to scoop out a cove. I'm laying out a couple of them here and by the way the practice material is just uh, part of a 2x4. We take the spindle gouge, turn it to the vertical position where the flute is perpendicular to the floor, then beginning in the middle we scoop out a cove in an ever widening pattern until we get to our outer marks. We're trying to generate a fair curve fair curve being defined as one without bumps and humps and lumps and something that is pretty symmetrical most times. This is just a practice exercise so continue down your workpiece and do a number of coves. You always want to cut downhill right left right left right left or for those of you lefties left right left right left right begin in the middle then widen your cut even after you're an experienced turner it's very very useful if you'll just go ahead and lay out the parameters of your cove to begin with If you watch my hand uppermost in the photo, you'll see how I spin the handle, changing the attitude of the tool relative to the cove. As I was doing this practice exercise, I ended up with a flat spot between the two coves, and I decided I'd just do a small radius bead. In the real world, you'll end up doing a lot of stuff like this as part of your design element put a shoulder on each side of it so we had a transition from a small radius bead to a large radius cove and there are a lot of applications uh, for doing this out in the real world.